some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Jason Sutherland, aka Katana Boy, or the man who carried a sword into the library to try to ex exercise his Second Amendment rights, is salty as can be as far as what he got sentenced with and shows his complete and utter misunderstanding of how the Constitution works, the limitations, and what it does for you. But hey, what else is new? So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty, everybody. I promised you I would show what happened to me in court on the 3rd. I, was, uh, I went for sentencing on the 10th and had to be rushed to the hospital because of my medical condition. Um... But they held it over for another week. So last Thursday, the 17th, I was sentenced for exercising my constitutional right. Excuse me, our constitutional rights. Uh, yeah. You walked into a library with a sword. I mean, you never know what kind of crazy man would do that or what they're capable of. So, yeah, they had to get you out of there. Apparently, the Constitution doesn't exist in the city of Corvallis, Oregon. Um, but this will show you how corrupt the legal system here in Corvallis, Oregon is. These are my sentence documents. You'll have to pause to read it, but um, apparently that is the code, municipal code violation for trespass in Oregon, which is not correct. Okay, let's zoom in on what he's talking about right there and see what we can pick apart. Okay, on the left I see trespassing in the second degree, which is ORS 164.245, and Oregon trespassing law is essentially the same as it is throughout most of the country, where the uh, owner or anybody in charge of the building can ask you to leave, and if you don't, you are trespassed. That's pretty much cut and dry right there. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! Now, let's take a look at the one on the left. The code on the left. Because I think somebody must have been trying to educate you, troll you, or both. Because when you look up that code, here is what pops up. Oh, look. ORS 221.926 is essentially Oregon's 10th Amendment. In that it grants all cities and towns within the state of Oregon to create any laws that may be necessary to run the town or city. I mean, come on, dude. The Tenth Amendment of the United States Constitution grants every state the powers to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and thus the states do the same for the towns and cities within their state, essentially creating a power structure at the federal, state, and local levels. Huh. Who knew of this? Uh, I wish they would teach this in, oh, I don't know, a civics class? Oh, wait, they do. I guess you didn't take a civics class. It's uh, Oregon Revised Statute 241.255. Uh, um, I have to look that one up. I haven't done that. Here is what I was sentenced to. Uh, $250 fine. Um... See, they want me to pay for records that I never asked for. Remember a video or two back when I showed the gold envelope with all the discs in it? I didn't ask for that, yet they mailed it to me. Well, dude, that's part of the process. You get the evidence that's presented against you so you can study it and see what the flaws are in the argument. But you did not do that. 
you did not present any flaws in the argument that was against you, and therefore you lost the case. So now you've got to pay the court costs, you've got to pay the fine, you've got to pay for the shipping of the evidence to your house, all this good stuff. But please, carry on with your complaining. And now they have the fucking balls to say that they want to charge me for it. I'm sorry, I didn't ask it. You fucking mailed it to me. You want money for it? Take it out of your own fucking pocket. Um, but anyway, here is the contempt of court charge. Uh, you can say, clear as day, that it says, oh, I said, called the court corrupt. Um, no, I did not. I never said, what happened was, is in a sidebar near the end before he dis, uh, mistr dismissed the jury, <clears throat> the city attorney calls a sidebar, me, the judge, and her go into a back room, I already told you all this, where he's shoving his fat ass fucking Sacha's finger in my face. When we go back into the courtroom after he threatened me, I said, oh, the corruption in this city. Under my breath, but apparently loud enough to hear. First Amendment protected activity, I'm redressing my government for grievances. He said, in my contempt of court charge, oh, the corruption in this court. It's on a legal document. Y'all just read it. I never said the corruption in this court. I said the city. So, apparently, uh, to all the First and Second Amendment auditors, um, you probably don't want to come to Corvallis, Oregon, because apparently it's against the law to exercise your rights in this city. Um, the judge believes that the courtroom is his own personal playground. Uh, when I was there for sentencing, before, I was sitting in the courtroom, but another individual was up there, and uh, something about a parking violation. And the judge told that man, I'm the only one that gets an attitude in this room. So if you have an attitude, you can just forget it. No, you don't get an attitude in that courtroom. You swore to be professional at all times. One of the jobs of the judge is to maintain order in the court. It's his courtroom. He's responsible for it. If he has to get a little bit of an attitude with the defendants, lawyers, prosecutors, or anybody else, then so be it. It's supposed to be an orderly process. If you get an attitude towards a defendant, you need to get the fuck off the bench. That shows you're already biased. Um, but yeah, go ahead, check all those out. I'm going to go check out that code. Um, Let me give you a piece of advice. Research all angles before you post your video. It'll make you look less stupid next time, if that's even possible. But like I said, Oregon Revised Statute for Trespass is uh, 24... What is that one? 221? No, I, I've got it in the videos. Running a brain fart right now. Uh, but yeah, have fun with that. Any First and Second Amendment auditors, if you're going to come here, just have your attorneys on speed dial because... Apparently, the Constitution does not exist in the city of Corvallis, Oregon. Well, there you have it, folks. If ignorance was an Olympic sport, he would most certainly have the gold medal. I mean, this guy is insanely stupid.